comedian and writer Michelle Wolf brings her sharp humor to HBO in her debut stand-up special, Michelle Wolf, Nice Lady. Taped at the Skirball Center in New York City, the exclusive presentation hilariously showcases Michelle's signature voice as she takes on a wide range of topics, including her surprising thoughts on feminism, why Hillary Clinton could not be a nice lady, and more of life's everyday absurdities. Michelle Wolf, Nice Lady, premieres on Saturday, December 2nd at 9 p.m., only on HBO. Enjoy the show! Doug hates candy wrapper screaming babies. He seats with 50 ads and popcorn kernels in his teeth. There's still not one that he won't see, cause Doug loves movies. Hey, 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 everybody. You don't respond yet, lady. (laughs) My name is Doug, and I love movies. This is Doug Loves Movies. Coming to you once again from the Gramercy Theater in New York City. We are doing it. It's Monday, November 27th, I think. 20, okay, we've got confirmation. 2017, night two of the 12 Guests of Christmas, East Coast edition. We had a lot of great name tags last night. How are you guys doing tonight? We got Mystic Brian, which is basically a, his face is a slice of pizza. Stand up and show everybody Mystic Brian. Look at this weirdo. Look at that pizza face. Our friend, our old friend Paul brought back uh, Spuds McKenzie. Show everybody what a Spuds McKenzie looks like. (laughs) That's not really Spuds McKenzie though, is it? It's kind of a knockoff. It's real, it's really him, okay. Why does he have a copy of Fletch attached to his body? Because he likes Fletch? (laughs) He likes the classics? Les Miser, Rob, you're back. I've seen that one before. Who's that big head over there? Greg. It's Greg Wyshynski? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I think he's going to be forced to pick that. Are you friends with him or something? No. No, okay. Because Greg was one of the three uh, top, he was one of the top four uh, last night. So uh, he'll be joining us again tonight, and he'll have to look at his big face. There's a a hand-drawn Home Alone 2 lost in Nick York. Your name's Nick? Oh, Nick Yost. So lost in Nick Yost. So it's about a little Macaulay Culkin trapped inside Nick's nervous system. (laughs) And what's that one next to you? How the Trent stole Christmas? Trentmas. Okay, Trent. <laughs> you really only have to get your name in there once. Like Big Trouble and Little Richard. That's hilarious. <laughs> Show everybody, it's got Little Richard on there. And he's in Big Trouble. All right, well, good job, everybody. Thank you for bringing uh, such resplendent name tags. And... Um, Good luck to everybody. Doug Plugs. Doug Loves Movies is back at UCB Franklin in Los Angeles this Tuesday. Not this Tuesday, the following Tuesday, December 5th. Uh, 12 Guests of Christmas LA edition is on December 12th and 13th at Largo in Los Angeles. And December 13th through 20th, Tate Crazy Nights, eight Doug Loves Movies with Jeff Tate in eight cities over eight nights. Crazy indeed. All of my dates and deets and links are at douglovesmovies.com. That's douglovesmovies.com. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was such a timid. Four, four, four. Four, four, four. All right, you guys.
I brought a prize bag. Somebody's walking out of here with a ton of shit because all of my guests brought something as well, as far as I know. But I brought, in this beautiful Target bag, a, a sippy cup that I got at a Broadway show, a edible shot glass. It's a candy, Christmas candy shot glass. I saw it. I had to get it for you guys. <laughs> Also had to get this for you guys. It's a DVD of Flags for Our Fathers. <laughs> Flags of Our Fathers. Apologies to everyone involved. <laughs> and I gave away one of these last night, and it's my final one that I own that I'm giving away tonight. It's a beautiful Christmas bong. A rubber Christmas water pipe. Thanks for the correction, State of New York. Uh, from our friends at Peacemaker. So that's what I brought for the bag, but whoever wins tonight is going to get plenty of stuff. Are you guys ready to meet our guests? We have... We have 13 chairs tonight because we might need that 13th chair. I'm still not sure if we will or not. But in the meantime, there's at least 12 people backstage. So please give a warm welcome to Desmond Borges, Rich D. Marinis, Louis J. Gomez, Josh Gondelman, Seth Herzog, Ian Kinney, Sam Levine, Julia Madison, Sam Pasternak, George Salazar, Tom Takar, Greg Wyshynski, Look at this great group. And one more to possibly be named later. I predicted, yeah, sit up front there. There you go. Yeah, we'll leave that seat next to me open just in case it happens. Uh, someone reached out to me today. We had a lovely exchange. And then I thought, he might not show up. So I'm not going to say who it is. We'll call him Elijah for now. <laughs> and we're going to save a seat for Elijah. Four Jews got that joke. Because that joke is for Jews. <laughs> Let's meet my guests individually. We got three returning players from last night. Let's talk to them first. Let's say hi to Sam the Ma'am Levine. <laughs> Oh, hello. Hello, little Logan. Hello, Douglas. Lucky Logan. Yeah. Logan Lucky. I forget which way it goes. You can go any way you want. Okay. I don't think Soderbergh's picking. How are you doing? You won last night. I did. I did. Thank you. You must have been walking on air all day. It really was the highlight of my trip to New York. <laughs> Isn't it? It's why you came to New York. It's specifically why I came to New yeah, York. Yeah, you came here to show. win. That's right. And now you're going to try to take on 11 more, possibly 12 competitors tonight. Oh, God, why did I say yes? Do you think you can make it all the way to the end again? Probably not. All right. I like, I like that attitude. You know, I like to set the bar real low. That way I'm constantly surprising myself. Well, you're a humble player because you're constantly winning. Ah... Uh, and uh, oh, no. thank you for uh, coming back again tonight. My pleasure. Happy to be here, Doug. How long are you in town for? I leave tomorrow. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Who came in second last night? That would be me, Doug. It's Greg Wyshynski! Hi, everybody. This is where I, uh, I ask, uh, are there hockey fans in the audience tonight? <laughs> My condolences, but thank you also. That was a lot of people. I know, right? Yeah. You feel threatened, Doug, that the well, gladiators you know, of ice will come up here and pummel you? I don't know why you're bringing your damn hockey crowd to my, <laughs> to my <laughs> trivia show, but, you know, paid admission's a paid admission. So I, ju I just hope they're not expecting us to fight. No. Because that's the best part of hockey, right? Well, I mean, there's a <laughs> debate about that with the advent of CTE, but ge yeah, generally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's everybody's favorite part. 
Except for people that don't like that part. <laughs> then they probably don't like hockey at all. <laughs> what do you think your chances are here tonight, Greg? Uh, I, I, I feel it, it will be dependent on the, uh, the performer that may or may not be part of a game that we may or may not play. <laughs> I'm trying to keep, no spoilers, I'm trying to keep you all in suspense. You know this is all scripted, right? Like being t- <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Thanks for being here, dude. Also, in third place last night, or fourth place, but he got bumped up to third because uh, somebody has something better to do tonight. <laughs> it's Seth Herzog! Hey, thank you. Thank you. Slightly better applause than last night. You know what I want to say? I've noticed. Who here was here last, last night? A lot of people? Look at that. Of those people, who here is sitting the exact same seat you were sitting in? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. It's a lot of the same faces in the exact same seats. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. It's a little creepy. It's like they didn't leave. They spent the night here in the Gramercy Theater. They're phantoms of the theater. I think I saw it empty last night when I left. Oh, thank you. I, oh, so they, they, they did actually leave? I think I can verify I that they all went at least they went home. out of the building. Maybe not home. <laughs> maybe they just hung out across the street. I don't know. I mean, Paul, to get in that front row seat like that, how early do you have to get here? Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Did you camp out earlier? All right. Five o'clock camp out? Yeah. Bring a, bring a cooler. Oh, sun's going down. Let's a, camp. Yeah. Maybe bring a tent. A, a, Shays Lounge. <laughs> All right, let's meet everybody else. Let's meet the people that came here today to try to take down these guys. And uh, we're going to start with the gentleman directly to my left, who is here by, uh, I feel, an interesting circumstance. I have an uh, internet program called Getting Dug With High. And thank you. And on that show, we have uh, we ask people to join the 420 Club at Patreon.com, where uh, for four dollars and twenty cents a month, you uh, get in, you know can get involved in various things, including drawings for tickets to my shows when I come to your town. But in the case of this gentleman, I pulled his name out of the bucket and I said, if he's in New York. Let's fucking have him as a guest on Doug Loves Movies. It's Rich D. Marinis. Am I pronouncing it right? D. Marinis. D. Marinis. Rich D. Marinis, everybody. Thanks for having me, Doug. Great job having your name pulled out of a bucket randomly. Yeah, yeah. You're so good at that. You know and uh, you told me backstage that you fear the uh, trivia portion of the show today. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but, you know, you, you'll be here for a little while. Yeah. It takes a while a, to get to that part. I'm having a great time. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> you're in front row right next to me, so uh, I hope you're not no going to have a bad time. Yeah, no one took that chair. You, you slipped right in there. I like it. We got this empty seat behind you. And you know what? I know who it is, and you're probably better off that he hasn't shown up. All right, let's say hi. Pass the microphone behind you there to uh, a gentleman we met on the show in uh, Buffalo, I think last fall, maybe-ish? Yeah. Late yeah. summer, fall? Yeah, last uh, August, I want to yeah. say. It's Ian Kinney, everybody. Yeah. Hello, New York City. Thanks for having me, Doug. How's it going? Uh, it's going great, man. I, uh, you know, I actually I kind of have a bone to pick with you. Uh-oh. As you said, I was on the show last year. Sure. And I don't know if you've realized this or not, but a lot of your past guests have gone on to become Avengers. And <laughs> I, I haven't gotten that call yet, bro. <laughs> Wait a second. A lot of my guests... Our Avengers? I can only think of one, and he was already an Avenger when I met him. I think. No, you know, I've told you I'm a fan of the show. I think you had, uh, well, you had Chris Evans. You had Chris yeah. Pratt once with uh, the cast of Parks and Rec. You're right. He has become one. You had uh, Brie Larson. And you She's had, about to be one, yeah. And you had Paul Rudd. I did my research. 
So I want to be number five here, you know, make a call or something. Sounds like you're getting some avenge right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me. Fly in the ointment. No, that's, but that's interesting that you brought that up and I didn't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> They've always all felt like Avengers to me. Uh, to your left, Ian, pass your mic, please. Yo. Oh, he's got two mics. He's going to uh, do a press uh, conference. It's Desmond Borges, everybody. Uh, how's it going? What up, Doug? Hey, dude. How you doing, bro? I'm doing all right. I'm excited that uh, You're the Worst is coming back for a fifth season. Me too. How do you feel about the final part of it, that they're saying it's the final season? Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was a surprise to me, but I'm excited that we get to do it one last time, yo. Yeah, and, uh, you know, theoretically, uh, storylines and whatnot will be wrapped up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the character of Edgar will murder the character of Doug Benson. Well, I've already asked for that, yeah. Twice okay. in writing, actually. That'd be uh, neat. FX said no. But oh, FX wants to keep me alive. I like that. <laughs> they love Doug. I'm excited. Well, we'll see what, what happens next season. I mean, you'll definitely be there next season. We'll see if I show up again or not. But uh, I feel like there's some loose ends there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, first of all, we got to talk about how many, like, half-naked chicks do you usually have in your pool at your house, man? Oh, I don't, I don't have a house. <laughs> For starters. There is a pool in my building. Oh. How late, <laughs> how late does it stay open? <laughs> Do they allow but there's floaties? usually not dead looking models. Like I loved on the show, like when we shot the scene, I didn't know they were gonna cut to her just looking like she was dead in the pool. I don't even remember reading about her in the script. I think she was like a late addition that just popped in. <laughs> Silver Lake, man. Yeah, her name's Tova. <laughs> Tova. Not in real life, or not a real name. I call her Tova in the scene. Oh. But anyway. <laughs> We digress. Yeah, four seasons of uh, You're the Worst are available for you to catch up on on uh, Hulu and wherever you watch stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the the final season. What are you? What is happening with? Why are you holding those mics that way? Well, because I figure I'm gonna pass them to somebody next. At least front, side, oh, back. Look at Seth wants one. He's nowhere near his turn to talk. <laughs> No, pass it to your left there to Mr. Josh Gondelman. Hello. Hi, Doug. Hey, you know, Josh has won an Emmy since appearing on my show, Ian. <laughs> do you want to? Oh, thank you. Do you want to complain that you haven't got your Emmy yet? <laughs> 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 How's it going, dude? I'm great. How are you? Oh, you know. I'm feeling pretty good about this. <laughs> Me Last too. night's 12 guests were pretty docile, and it seems like we're going down that same road tonight. I could get more rowdy if you want. No, no. No, I'm saying I... But I guess that's like a docile thing to say, right? <laughs> Would you no, like me to be more combative? No. Did I, I sound like I was complaining? <laughs> I said I think things are going good. Everyone's docile. <laughs> Yeah, it was hard to get you all to take those drinks backstage, but once I got you to do it, I've got you just where I need you to be. <laughs> I like all of my guests to be sleepy. <laughs> it's a post-Thanksgiving themed show. Right. Oh, that's what we should do next year, is just have a bunch of turkey back there. <laughs> get everybody real slowed down. Uh, thank you for being here, dude. Thank I appreciate it. Thank you for having it. me, Doug. Always this, a pleasure. This, have you met the young man to your left? Yes. This is exciting. <laughs> because, you know, Jesse Pasternak's been a fixture on this show for a few years now, but I've known and talked to his older brother quite a bit over the years, and I could always see him like, you know, he loves Jesse, but he also wants to fucking get in the game. <laughs> so please welcome Sam Pasternak. <laughs> 
Thank you for having me, Doug. I, uh, I'm glad you're expanding your Pasternak horizons. Right? And, uh, you know, uh, Jesse didn't make it to the top three last night. I was kind of hoping he would, so that I, you know, pit the two of you against each other. There's always next time, Doug. Yeah, who do you think is better at uh, trivia between the two of you? Jesse, I'm like two Jessies stacked on top of each other in a trench coat. If both of them were worse at this than Jesse is. Well, at least you could team up. <laughs> <laughs> or is it hard to communicate when one, only one person's head is outside the trench coat? It's, it's a little muffled. Yeah, right? Yes. And what are you up to lately? You're living out in L.A.? I, I moved out to L.A. about a year ago. I was, I was writing for a show in New York um, for a little while and then moved, for True TV and then moved out to L.A. about a year ago. Uh, and now I'm a producer, on, well, I'm an associate producer on Steve Harvey's new talk oh, show. Shit. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm sure he doesn't abuse you one bit. No, no, I'm a sweet boy, and he is a <laughs> lovely man. <laughs> oh, shit. Sweet boy and lovely man. It sounds like a really good... Uh, <laughs> we, we get really good book you're going to write about this experience. <laughs> All right, well, good luck with that. Thanks, Doug. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's been fun, and we're, we're, in, uh, we're on Jack Benny's old stage on the Universal lot, so I, I try to commune with his ghost a whole bunch, which, uh, which Jesse really appreciates. A bunch of old souls. I don't know what you just said. <laughs> D Doug, I'm a Pasternak. That's bound I to happen every follow, so often. I couldn't follow any of that. So <laughs> something about ghosts. Steve Harvey's not even dead. How does he have a ghost? <laughs> It's the ghost of Steve Harvey's mustache. <laughs> the, the mustache, past, present, and future. It's, right? Yeah. He, when I used, to, I used to have to work with him a little bit, and uh, I phrased that exactly how I wanted to. Have to. And, um, <laughs> when I worked with him, he was still trying to convince people that he had a head of, you know, some hair on his head. It was before he just fucking went fuck it and shaved it all. And so he would, every time I would see him, most of the time he'd have a hat on. And one day he was coming in to record some radio promos and we were like, are we going to see him without his hat? Because he's got to put headphones on to record the promos. But then he came in like a pro, had his hat on, took the headphones, <laughs> put the band in the back. Kept his hat on and wore headphones at the same time. That looks balder than just being bald. <laughs> <laughs> Says the baldest man or woman on the panel. Yeah. Well, she does have a hat on, so we don't know what's going on over there. But let's pass the mic down. Oh, he's already got one. Hey, you guys. It's musical singing and dancing sensation, George Salazar. Thank you. That's very sweet. First time on the show, right? First time, yeah. Yeah, but you've come by and hung out before sometimes. Yeah. And I've seen you in some great uh, musical productions uh, over the years when I come through town. <laughs> yes, you have. Yeah. Godspell. <laughs> yeah. The With per her. The, the Percy Jackson musical. The Percy Jackson musical. Yeah, and um, God damn it, what's the one, what's the uh, David tick, Byrne tick, one? Tick, Tick, Boom. Oh, and you, yeah, and you came to tick, Here tick, Lies boom. Love, And too. what's the David Byrne one? The Here Lies Love. Here Lies Love yeah, was yeah. so good. Thanks, man. Yeah, you're great in all of them, and, and also versatile. If I didn't know you, I wouldn't, I'd be like, those are four different dudes. Thank you. Like, uh, I, uh, I fluctuate. My weight fluctuates dramatically. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> in Godspell, you were like the fat guy. Yeah. And then in every other show, you haven't been fat at all. Yeah. Well, it could, yeah. Okay. That's nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was really fat in Tick, Tick, Boom. I don't think you were that fat in Godspell even, but you were fatter than all those thin fucks that were on stage. <laughs> <laughs> best review of Godspell ever. <laughs> One fat guy and a bunch of thin fucks. <laughs> the promo shots would be incredible for that show. But, yeah. uh, thank you for being here. Do you think you're hey, going to be me. good at the movie trivia thing? Part of it? Um, probably not. All right. Yeah. 
Well, I'm, I'm absolutely expecting to be the first one out. Really? Yeah. Okay. Not I, to be a pessimist. I don't see that. But happening. I'm saying that now so that if I'm not, I feel really good about it. All right. You know? That's a fair way to do it. Yeah. Let's pass the mic. <laughs> Let's hit her with the mic. It's Julia Madison, everybody. I just, I became very aware that I, I on the stage, stick out like a, a sore woman thumb. It's really yeah, you uh, really worked out that way that you're the, uh, the only lady tonight. That's it. Yeah. Look at that. Honored to be here. <laughs> I think you're gonna do all right. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best. You were on the um, the episode of the show I did where it was uh, all about musicals, right? Yes, I yeah, did the Doug Loves Musicals. That was a fun one. Yeah, that was really fun. I gotta do that again sometime, but it's you know it's uh, hard to work out because uh, the people that perform on Broadway. Yes. Uh, and I like to I like to pronounce it that and way. Broadway. <laughs> Broadway. <laughs> The Broadway performers are, uh, you know, you only have a few nights off a week generally. Those Monday nights, usually. And then on those, you're doing some sort of special fancy concert or something. Yeah, there's always some gala for fancy people to make yeah. you perform in private for them. I yeah. feel like that's a thing people always do. Yeah, that's all I do. That's all George does. Fancy private performances? <laughs> yes. Yes, it's an, it's let's, an amazing thing. Let's have one right now. No well, you're not getting paid yeah. for this, that's for damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's not even, the prizes just go to the person you're playing for. You don't even get a, a piece of oh, that. So uh, apologies in advance. <laughs> and good luck. Thank you for being here, Julia. Hey, thanks for having me. <laughs> I'm going to pass this to you. Hi there, Doug. <laughs> it's Tom Takar, hey, everybody! everybody! Thanks so much. Thank you for having me on the 12 Guests of Happy Holidays. <laughs> Is this, are we still, is it called the 12 Guests the of tell, Christmas? The 12 Guests of Holiday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have a jihad on the war on yeah. Christmas. <laughs> I started the war on Christmas several years back and been very proud about the progress. And then I, I set us way back by having a 12 Guests of Christmas show. <laughs> Where, where'd you serve, Doug? <laughs> Front lines of the the war on Christmas. I don't know Jerusalem. I, I wish they'd make a Call of Duty war on Christmas. <laughs> you shoot at your sniping Santa. Get fucked, Santa. Yeah, this is an anti-Santa podcast. I don't give a shit. It's good to be here, Doug. Um, how many? I like this mic situation. What do we have? Three mics over here. Three mics for twelve people. It's cra pretty plus crazy. Elijah. It three feels three mics for twelve people. And yet, Neil Brennan needs three. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> this he needs as many as all 12 of us. I appreciate that one. I didn't think everybody would enjoy it. But, uh, <laughs> this but, feels like we're all whittling down, and then we're going to be the Beastie Boys at the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're narrowing it down to two tonight. <laughs> if that means that one of us is dead, I hope so. That's the joke I just uh, made. Oh, did you? Ah, oh, fuck. And they were booing mine while you were trying yours. <laughs> all right, good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was like a tag team wrestling finisher. <laughs> You're like, we're throwing this motherfucker through the floor. <laughs> but that's Louis J. Gomez! What's up, Doug? Hey. <laughs> How you doing, motherfucker? Let's do this shit. What's up? <laughs> it's New York City. We're ready to rock. I love that you have I feel like that, everyone's very friendly. That, yeah. We were all just smoking weed backstage, being friends. Fuck these guys up here. These are my enemies. I'm not your friends, bitches. What the fuck? They're fucking all friendly, patting each other on the back, laughing at each other's jokes. Go fuck yourselves. I hope everybody up here dies. Let's do this shit. I thought I was the only Puerto Rican. You got this dude on the fucking end. I had no idea. Dog, that was in my fucking rider. One Puerto Rican on the panel. That's it. Yo, man, no you got another guys. Puerto you Rican up that. here, man. That's all right. You realize man, this is the show where we name the, like, movies that Sandra Bullock has been in, right? <laughs> like, it's very weird to be so aggressive. <laughs> Spe 
weed too. Fuck you. Like, it's weird to me. <laughs> Lu- Lewis's favorite part of hockey is the fighting. <laughs> <laughs> but his favorite part of UFC is the hockey, so it all evens out. <laughs> you know, you put me at the end of this fucking line. I gotta listen to everybody's fucking sob story, Doug. You know, I heard this is all pent up. Every fucking person up here, I want to make fun of them, and I'm just like, I'm, I'm supposed to be a nice guy right now. We're in a game show. Wow. So no, I, friends. We're all I friends. Heard, I didn't put you at the end of any line. I said, sit wherever you want. You just sat at the end. <laughs> there is nobody in the world that would look at this setup and go, that guy's at the end. The, the at-home audience is just your word against his, too. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes front row center is the end. just how you look at things <laughs> but thanks for being here dude I am very excited to be on the yeah. show I'm gonna come around to you every 12 people to get that boost burst of energy you goddamn right <laughs> that burst boost I need that burst boost uh, but we gotta find out what everybody brought before we play for uh, all these prizes we gotta find out what they are so let's start with uh, Ian Kinney. What'd you bring for the uh, the old prize bag, sir? Man, I wish you didn't start with me because mine's terrible. Uh, should I end with you? No, it's terrible. Okay, I'll let's end with you. Start with me. Or would that be even worse? Yeah, that'd be worse. Okay. I, I just have a bag of candy. <laughs> Gummy bears. What, were you uh, just hanging out outside the school when I called you today? Well, actually, I was, uh, I was about seven hours away when you called me today, Whoa. and it was about seven and a half hours ago. <laughs> so I jumped in my car, drove here, and stopped at that nice little store next door. Well, that's terrific. I think that's probably going to be amongst the most cherished items because you led to so much effort. <laughs> the winner's going to be very, very proud to own those. Desmond, Yo, what's, up? what's up? What do you got? Uh, I stole someone's Christmas bag off the street. His name was Ryan. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. Uh, and then uh, I did like a little theme here, yo. I figured it's cold as shit outside, so maybe a lot of people were just drinking, maybe reading some shit, you know. So I uh, I got a, a couple bo- little bottles of bubbly, you know, to pop that in. And then um, uh, Red Bubble sent me. Uh, two extra mugs, and they are Prince themed. You will see them when you get them, which is dope. Uh, we're working on sharing with my son, and so he chose me to give you this book, Go the Fuck to Sleep. And then this is just my personal favorite because it's around the holidays, you know. I, I mean, th- this is my this is my Santa, Bill Murray face on a coaster. It's a Bill Murray coaster. Yeah, man, it's the coaster made of Bill Murray's face. So you can I mean, it's not bu- made of his face. It's <laughs> oh, no, no, no. made this in the is, image is, of his face. No, this is real Bill Murray skin. Oh, my man. God. It's Bill Murray's dead skin. Got this shit. Black market. <laughs> well, so, that's yeah. a lot of stuff you brought. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, lo- load that back in the bag and then pass it over here while Josh Gondelman tells us about his gifts. Hello. Uh, I, I don't know. I greeted you all again. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I've got some, uh, some books that aren't out yet because they, they mail them to my wife and then they fill up our house and then she sends them with me to give to strangers. So, uh, I've My got... wife! <laughs> <laughs> I've got um, Leslie Jameson's new book of essays that's not out yet called The Recovering She's Amazing, Short the Empathy Exams. I've got this book of essays by Ursula K. Le Guin. That's great. And then I've got Jonathan Abrams wrote this book called All the Pieces Matter. It's an oral history of The Wire, which is dope. And uh, yeah, so you can't get these anywhere but from me or someone who works in the same industry as my wife, so. Josh, uh, did you give these people homework (laughs) as a gift? Yeah, Lewis, that's all I have to offer. (laughs) Statistics and homework. It's funny that if it were a movie, if you were like, I have the new Avengers, people would be like, oh shit. It's like, I have early books. And they're like, who gives a shit? Thanks, Josh. Sam? <laughs> I'm sorry, Josh. 
so, so, Doug, I know you love movie musicals, so I brought um, two prizes from two of my favorite movie musicals. Uh, the first is the soundtrack from the hit 2002 film Drumline. Oh! Uh, featuring such hit songs as Blowing Me Up, parentheses, With Her Love by the incomparable J.C. Chazay. <laughs> and and the, uh, everyone's favorite anthem, Club Banger by Petey Pablo. Um, and so you could play that on your... Doug, what did he say? What's that? I don't know what he just said. I don't know what that guy yelled out. All right, never mind. Um, Sounded like he yelled, Jordan Catalano! (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And then, in addition to that, I also brought the VHS of Muppet Treasure Island. Oh! A a fantastic movie musical. So, if you have a VCR, let me know, and I'll, uh, I'll play for you. If you if you brought a name tag at a VCR, that's great. <laughs> uh, well, first of all, obviously the best part of the gift would be the Soul Cycle bag, this shimmery Soul Cycle. It was we were down to two bags in our house. It was either that or one of those grotesque satchels from IKEA that they give you when you're getting your. Oh, those spatulas. are grotesque. Those are grotesque, Doug. All right. First of all, uh, the, the the winner gets a copy of my book. Take your eye off the puck. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, The winner also gets uh, a Pikachu mug. I know. And not some bullshit like picture of Pikachu, a mug fashioned like the beloved Pokemon. You also, are you guys familiar with Cuphead? Uh, These are uh, Comic-Con exclusive for Cuphead. I plead ignorance, I'm sorry, but I figured someone would appreciate it. Finally, the, the best part of the whole shebang, do you guys remember those little pink uh, wrestlers called muscle men back in the day, oh, little yeah. tiny ones. Right here in this, in this little thing right here is muscle men, but themed to the movie Alien. Little tiny oh, pink xenomorphs oh. and face huggers and such. There you go, oh. prize bag. Now I heard there's a rule where guests can take whatever they want out of the prize bag. <laughs> Look I want out, that Pikachu a... mug, baby! It's true. Do you want those wrestling uh, alien things? Yeah, dude. I'm going to play monkeys with them. They looked, like, they looked like those little monkeys. No, I want that Pikachu mug. I'm kidding. That's not a real rule. That's not a real rule, right? I want the mug. Get the mug. I'm taking this mug, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you're just going to let guests t- take whatever they want, there's not going to be any books left for the audience. So... <laughs> It's going to be a real run on books coming up. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> Where's that poetry short story thing? There's a lot of time between answers. <laughs> All right. Sam? Yeah. Uh, so uh, I brought arguably of the original Star Trek feature films, the two best. That would be The Wrath of Khan and The Voyage Home. <laughs> Two and four. No fucking around here. You could take Star Trek V, The Final Frontier, and go fuck yourself. Um, and then uh, I brought one of these last night. I found out I had another. It's a, uh, a postcard advertising the Freaks and Geeks original soundtrack. Uh, which I autographed. It says, call me Lil Logan. Um... This is an item I, honest to God, I found in my childhood bedroom. I cannot believe I was willing to part with it for this show. Um, It is a a large book. It's The Making of the Film Congo. Yeah. There's, There's stories, photos... Amy, ugly, gorilla, ugly. Doug just did sign language. <laughs> and uh, and this, this is the real, the real cherry on top. Um, I don't know how to, there's no proper way to introduce this. It's a CD called NBC's Celebrity Christmas from the year 2000. It's got Sean Hayes and Dave Koz singing the Christmas song. Uh, B.B. Newworth and John Lithgow singing Baby It's Cold Outside. 
Shane Leaves from Frasier singing Winter Wonderland. Alex Kingston from ER singing Coventry Carol. And this has to be my favorite, I swear to God. Martin Sheen, John Spencer, and Stocker Channing singing Wonderful Christmas Time. Well, it appears there's also uh, Chris Hansen from Dateline NBC singing Here Comes Santa Claus. Can you believe all those actors are dead now? Yep. <laughs> so, uh, this is my... Thanks, Sam. These are my gifts to you. So now you don't own anything? <laughs> You brought all of your things? This is everything I had. Okay. George? Hey. What do you got? Uh, I have this little guy in a barrel. Uh, This is from the Philippines. I picked it up a a couple of weeks ago. And you lift the barrel off, and uh, he has a spring-loaded penis and two spring-loaded arms. Can I trade in my Pikachu mug for... (laughs) That is the tiniest dildo I have ever seen. But his yeah. arms are the same size as his dick. Which yeah. is what, that's what shocked me. I'm just concerned you know. about the splinter factor. <laughs> oh, I was talking about Sam Levine. Oh, shit! I'm sorry, Sam. You looked at me, motherfucker. Welcome, everyone, to the Luis J. Gomez Roast of Happiness. <laughs> Don't you fucking smile at me, Sam. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Somebody, so, yeah, it has uh, a yeah, spring-loaded penis. <laughs> Somebody had to say it. Thank you, George. Yeah, thank you. (laughs) Julia, what do you have for Um, us? I unfortunately did not bring a spring-loaded penis from my house, but I do have beef jerky! Teriyaki beefsteak, baby. Um, I've got... uh, Ow, ow! I've got... uh, I was passing Kmart on my my way here. Oh, really? I found... uh, Two beautiful Santa oven mitts, which are great for the holiday season if you want to make cookies and. I'd say just those are good year do round. Do leg. This is yeah. They probably they actually still make work it, as oven mitts. They work as maybe regular mitts. <laughs> They're good year round. It's true. <laughs> they just could be a, a nice red mitt during the year. And uh, to go with that, you have to have a Santa hat. Oh, I love a good Santa hat. Yeah. It's. Trim a home. I know, I should wear that. Is the brand? Yeah. Um, they're going to be beautiful together. They're going to go hey, to a lucky Could you put person. that spring loaded pee pee and all your stuff in that bag? Oh, and, yes. Uh, it would be oh, my pass, honor. Pass no one's all ever down. asked me to yeah. do that. That's a very nice happy holidays Thank you. hat. <laughs> 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 Tom, what do you got? Uh, I have, oh man, I'm so excited about this stuff. So I brought candy just as like the bare minimum, so get fucked, Ian. And, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Why would I be aggressive? I'm sitting next to Lewis. I think that's making me aggressive. (laughs) I brought a, uh, I brought a Jack Skellington dog toy. This is a dog toy, so it's for the very niche audience of people who loved the movie The Nightmare Before Christmas and are also a dog. (laughs) So... Enjoy that. And finally, I brought... The, Wait, a, finally? Finally, I brought a you, Blu-ray... Your second item is finally? No, no, my third. Oh, this sorry. Third. I brought three items, Doug. Sorry, dude. Come I'm on. sorry. I didn't notice the first uh, item. So the third item is a Blu-ray copy of Jim Carrey's Yes Man. And it's special because it has the original tagline on it for Yes Man. Oh, you know the original that? tagline for Yes Man? No. uh there's a new N-word this guy can't say. <laughs> there is no way it says that on there. No, it says it. It says it. You can't look at it. Does that mean... <laughs> wait. Does that mean he says the old one? <laughs> that was the original premise of the movie. <laughs> that, was the, that was the original premise of Liar Liar as well. 
I actually had Lewis write the N-word on here, so are you going to enjoy it? No, I, uh, that's signed by Jim Carrey. I am Jim Carrey. Have you guys seen Jim and Andy? Oh, yeah, I watched that. I am, uh, I'm in very, uh, I'm in method right now, so I, I am Jim, uh, so it's signed by Jim. Here's a quick impression. This is an elf graduating. <laughs> that's going to be great for the podcast listeners. Doug moved his buff ball from one side to the other. <laughs> Doug moved Hatties. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Lewis. All right, first this of here, all, is what you brought for the bag angry? Let me. To be honest with you, kind of, yeah, Doug. First of all, you said bring one fucking gift, okay? These guys are up here bringing out like 18 gifts. That's ridiculous. I do. I say bring one thing and then people bring a shit. Yeah, then I look like an asshole. Like I'm cheap. Like I don't want to give these people good shit. No, you look like the best person because you followed instructions. I don't like authority. Did you bring more than one thing? (laughs) I don't like authority. (laughs) So yeah, I only brought one thing, but I thought of other things in real time that I am also going to give away. (laughs) Are you yes. going to give away some experiences? Yes. <laughs> First of all, the thing that I brought is uh, it is a, an unopened box of like 20 packs of uh, Topps official UFC special autograph memorabilia relic cards. There's at least five autograph memorabilia or autograph relic cards per box. So if you're a UFC fan, like I am, you guys too can look at cards. That is literally the opposite of books. You are going down, Gondelman. I will personally pay for the buddy movie that you guys are going to do do together. I will personally pay. But I've also decided not only will you get that incredible fucking gift, the best gift up here already, I will say that, without a doubt, unquestionable. I'm also going to throw in three sugar-free edible marijuana candies. They're sugar-free because I have to go back into keto right now, so they're made with Werther's original sugar-free uh, caramels. I just got to get somebody to get them out of my jacket in the back. And a Legion of Skanks keychain. Is there any Legion of Skanks fans in the crowd? These aren't even on the fucking market, dude. I'm taking it off my keys. Wow. Yeah, that's real fucking deal, dude. Real deal. This is my personal shit. This is going to take me a while, Doug. Well, you got to say goodbye. <laughs> oh, here. Oh, my right, God. They handy. make sugar-free edibles oh, now? No, no, no. My friend Sam does. <laughs> For the stepmom who wants to get high. Hell, yeah. <laughs> I love Susan Sarandon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking out of that Pikachu cup now. <laughs> it's not a great... Mug, to be honest. It is cool looking, but it's not functional. I'm drinking like off of an ear. It's, I mean, I, I, the more I, I, I look at it, it might be actually be for soup. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> Raichu is a more uh, can, <laughs> drinkable. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. Or if, if, for a formal occasion, bell sprout. <laughs> Tom, why do you need that? You don't have other ways to lure children to your home? <laughs> Seth Herzog, what do you got for the prize bag? Yeah, thank you, Josh. Only person who clapped. Much like Lewis, I'm not here to make friends because I'm already friends with every single person on this stage. I made friends before I walked on stage. I've got a lot of uh, stuff. Um, I'm not sure what the order should be. Great new, brand new stainless steel bottle. Keeps the cold, cold, and the hot, hot. If you like a McDLT, but with water. (laughs) <laughs> for your football friends a little iPhone cover it says NFL now 
We've been waiting for the NFL yep. for far too long. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. If not now, when NFL? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Now the uh, DVDs of uh, American Horror Story Roanoke. Have you guys learned to that show? Was that a good season? I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, no one liked it. People were like that's the worst one. This is a oil uh, called Sage. It's peppermint halo. And if you get really tense, if you're watching American Horror Story get tense, you take it off and you put it on your pressure points and you're supposed to calm down. That's what I'm told. And gingerbread, gingerbread um, um, cookies. What? A whole bunch of gingerbread cookies. They're very good, supposedly. I haven't, they're still unopened. Not keto. Not keto. One, a DVD of one episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. <laughs> It's the Coral Palms Part 1 episode. Oh, my God. It's a two-parter, and you're just leaving us hanging? <laughs> yeah, you got you to gotta make up what happened in Part 2. Just finish it on your, on your own. I think it's called You Write It. And, of course, a book, but this is Ralphie May's last book. This might get a little heavy. comes out later this month, but here's the uh, advanced copy for you if, you, if you're into Ralphie May. He gave that to you as a gift, you piece of shit. He did. It was his last dying wish. It was like, you have first copy of my book. I said, thank you, trash. <laughs> With the bad boys. <laughs> well, someone's leaving here tonight with too much stuff to carry home. So good luck. Doug, I keep thinking about how Josh's poor books are getting the shit beaten out of them by those UFC cards. <laughs> I just want to save them. <laughs> All right, we're finally back to you, my friend. Uh, what do you got, Rich? Okay, so for the smokers, I got a glass pipe. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, definitely been used more than once. I like it. <laughs> For the movie fans, I have a uh, Thor Ragnarok poster. Oh, neato. And for both, I've got a limited edition Big Lebowski DVD with bonus uh, d disc in there and a broken uh, bowling ball. That's why the rubber band's on it. Yeah. There you go. And that's it. That's it? Yeah. What, what's in the rest? What's the rest well, of this shit in that bag? Well, this was what the poster was in. Oh, okay. And, uh, that was it. All and right. Big I thought you were acting like you were going to hang on to it, but I need no. this bag. Yeah, for sure. I <laughs> need it, man. That's part of it. Okay, good. But thank you. That's, those are all very thoughtful, <laughs> thoughtful gifts. I think we can all agree, yes, man on Blu-ray, best gift. <laughs> I think everyone agrees that the uh, Pokemon, Pokemon Cup doesn't add that much anyway. Just another thing to have to carry home that might break. Okay. True. If anybody, if the person everyone who seems wins, good about it. If the person who wins desperately wants this Pikachu Cup, uh, you can fight me for it. How about that? <laughs> Tough guys. <laughs> I'm including myself. <laughs> what a lovely offer. If the person really wants this, you could fight me for it. Whatever, whoever wins all this shit, I'm going to mug on the street anyway. They can't carry all this shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to mug them. I said it in the microphone, so it counts as my joke. <laughs> <laughs> the bad boys of puns. Bad boys of puns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, later on, we're going to Ragnarok and Roll, which is when we watch Ecstasy and go see Thor. Give me the microphone. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doug. Yeah. I ditch anybody who, whose idea of a good plan is to watch ecstasy. <laughs> All right, let's go around. One, we got to go around the group at least one more time, maybe twice, but we got to get your plugs in because when you get eliminated tonight, uh, after the cannon fire, we don't need to hear what you, what's coming up in your world. We need you to just leave. <laughs> so we'll start with uh, Ian Kinney. What do you got to plug? Uh, not much. All right. 
Desmond Borgia. <laughs> it's, it's tough when you're sitting next to a TV star and an Emmy winner, but uh, I do. Uh, I have a book I wrote on Amazon called Silly Stuff I Wrote that's available. And uh, other than that, just follow me on Twitter at Ian Kinney. Nice. Oh. Thank I, you. Uh, you know, just I'm chilling, hanging out. Uh, eating some good shit and uh, watch season five of You're the Worst next year. And if you got yes, you know, that's about it. What's gonna happen in the story of Edgar and DB International? Wait and see. Yes, we will. <laughs> hey, yo, real quick, can I get those mugs back? My fucking address is on them. I gotta scratch it out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't find him. <laughs> Thank you. Do you need a, here's a Sharpie. You carry a Sharpie on you? Yep. Because <laughs> people will come up to me and say, hey, sign this, and they hand me a towel and a golf pencil. You can't sign a golf pencil with a towel. <laughs> <laughs> but I try. <laughs> Josh, what do you got to plug? Uh, I'm going on, on tour to many cities in America over the next couple of months. Nice. Yeah, yeah so I'm, I'm in the, across the Midwest next week. Uh, it's called the Team Wolf Tour. And uh, you can find out the date specifically on joshgondelman.com. G-O-N-D-E-L, man. Like Method Man, but Jewish and not fun and cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Pasternak, what do you got to plug? Uh, I'm on Twitter at Sam Pasternak, and uh, I make these sketches and short films with this group that they've done a lot of stuff for, um, they work at Marvel and Nickelodeon and do all these really cool visual effects things, um, and we make sketches together. It's um, Cardboard Couch on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, and then check out Steve. Uh, check your local listings. It's on NBC in most uh, most markets. Carol Burnett's on this Thursday. Steve who? It's the the show is called Steve, and the host is called Steve Harvey. <laughs> and his WB show is called the Steve Harvey Show. And his previous daytime show before this one was called Steve Harvey. But this one is just called. Steve. Oh, it's a new one called Steve. Just Steve. I'm called Steve. Which one has the survey? <laughs> that is Family Feud. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Greg? Uh, since I last saw you. Well, not, well, not the one since last night. Since last night, but, yeah, do you no, have the, any new, new plugs? Beyond that one. Uh, no, I, I, uh, I, I now work at ESPN since last time I was here. And thank you. So you can find all my hockey writing on the, if you go find NHL and you click on it, then all the hockey stuff there, because you know when it could be on the front page of ESPN. Um, <laughs> come on, it's a safe room. Uh, so uh, also, I'm going to have a podcast starting soon with ESPN, uh, and then also my podcast, Puck Soup, uh, with Dave Lozo, is available on iTunes. It's hockey and uh, pop culture and non-hockey people talking about hockey, so it's a good time. Sam! Uh, I'd like to encourage people to find my two episodes of the Steve Harvey Show. Uh, circa 2001, when he was still doing the whole fake hair thing. Uh, they are pretty funny and pretty racist in both directions, so check those out. Um, also, uh, Kevin Pollock's chat show on uh, iTunes and YouTube. Uh, Joe Keery, uh, Steve from Stranger Things is coming up this Sunday. And hey, if you like movie trivia, and it seems to me like you do, you should check out the movie trivia schmodown on Collider, uh, which is Collider.com. They also have a YouTube page, uh, and it's awesome, fun movie trivia, and you will enjoy it. And I'm on there quite a bit, and that's all I have to say about that. Thanks, Sam. George. Hey. Uh, uh, in the spring, I'll be doing my uh, first solo shows in New York Woo! at uh, 
At 54 Below, uh, I'm going to be singing a lot of things with my buddy Joy Connors. Uh, and uh, you can... What's uh, that place called? Frankenstein's 54 Below? Oh, yeah. It's fi uh, Feinstein's Oh, Feinstein's 54 okay, Below. Okay, I thought it was Frankenstein. Uh, there was like a merger that I happened. I was excited about Big mon news. monsters down below. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a monster song in there. Uh, yeah, uh, so 54below.com uh, for more info. That's neat. Yeah, man. Like when spring? Uh, Early spring? Uh, the March 24th, March 31st, and April 2nd. Oh, that is late enough. I just might be able to work that out. That would be nice. Maybe you can come up and sing a song with me. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one of those talking songs like uh, <laughs> from My Fair Lady or something. Great. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you, I can do, sure I can do a Rex songs. Harrison. <laughs> All right, cool. What if For we could talk to the animals? <laughs> Learn their languages. Oh, what a wonderful world it would be. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Cool. So verb verbal agreement has been recorded. <laughs> and uh, I'll email you with rehearsal schedules. Okay. <laughs> Rehearsals. <laughs> Julia um, Mattison. George and I are actually also doing a Christmas show together, I oh. just remembered. We're Ooh, doing when's it, that? Where's that? Uh, at Frankenstein's 54 Below on um, uh, December 15th, 16th, and 17th. There's six shows. Oh. It's the Joe Iconis Christmas Extravaganza. Oh, and, that sounds uh, fun. It's the 10th annual. The 10th annual. It's a big variety show of, uh, what are some things in the, in the show? Julia plays a character named Felidia Crampington who uh, is in a, a neck brace with a pearl necklace around it. The reason I, when, when they emailed me and asked if I wanted to be the um, evil villain in the show, the only thing I emailed back was, can I wear a neck brace? For, I just knew whatever it was, I wanted to wear a neck brace. So um, they've really honored my wishes. And five years on, we're doing uh, neck braces and canes and uh, it's a whole show. Right on. Um, but uh, yeah, that's coming up, and I'm doing a developing a podcast with Audible called "Is Anyone Alive Out There?" Um, it's like an apocalyptic record podcast of sorts, um, and uh, lots of other things coming up. Some shows, but I don't have exact dates. So I'm at Julia Matt with one T on the internet. And oh, that's okay. It for me, I think for now. Tom Takar. Hey, so your show's turning 10 years old? That's, not, that's almost old enough for Roy Moore to hit on. That's pretty sick. Yeah, I thought that Roy Moore joke would hit a little harder. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you repub tarts don't like my Roy Moore humor. Get him, so Lewis. I have, <laughs> I, have a, I have a podcast called Stand By Your Band where, oh, hell yeah. It's where comics and sometimes actors like Brian Falduto from, uh, from School of Rock come on to defend the music they like that society shits on. I host it with Tommy McNamara, and I have a live show of it at Caroline's on Broadway on December 21st at 9 p.m. Come to that! It'll be fun. I'll also be at the Comedy Attic in Bloomington, Indiana on December 22nd, 23rd. And I'll be in L.A. Yeah, all this coming week. my mom calls it Bloomies. Bloomies! <laughs> Louis J. Gomez. All right, I got a few things. Uh, <laughs> I got three podcasts. I know, it seems, like, it seems excessive, but I fucking talk a lot, okay? Legion of Skanks podcast. Thank you. I have the Real Ass podcast. Less. And then... <laughs> I do a podcast with uh, the former UFC middleweight champion, Michael Bisping, called Believe You Me, and it's uh, an MMA show specifically. Uh, all three of my podcasts you can find on my podcast network, gasdigitalnetwork.com. We live stream everything for free. I also host uh, the New York version of the Roast Battle. It's called Roast Masters. It's right here at the stand, right around the corner from here. It's an incredible show. If you guys want tickets, they're five bucks, I think, uh, if you go online and grab tickets. But you guys can watch the live streams as well every Tuesday night, 10.30 p.m. from gasdigitalnetwork.com. Yeah, it's fucking dope. It, it's really a lot of fun. So if you guys can come and check that out, do that. And that's it, Doug. That's enough. I've had enough out of you, Lewis. Well, that's great, man. 
A lot of plugs, but you did them quickly. Let's see if Seth can do his quicker. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> having Lewis here is like having Mark Wahlberg here, right? Similar style, voice, but uh, he's <laughs> not in character. Um, plugs. Every Tuesday at the Slip Room Suites, a long-running comedy show I've been hosting, producing for a long time. It's all fun. Uh, my mom, who's here tonight. Mom, did you show up tonight? There you are, almost same seat. His mom has come to this shit two nights in a row. She's come two nights in a row, so you know if you have to throw a donut, you know where to throw, right? That <laughs> face right there. Um, there she is, wave your hands, there you go. That's my mom's. She comes to perform. Uh, also in a movie, Boy Band, coming out in 2018, a really funny movie that you should, should look out for and watch when you can. Okay. That's it, really. Yeah. Rich, what do you got to plug? I'd like to plug my friend's uh, production company. She's got a, it's called Gladiolus Productions, G-L-A-D-I-O-L-U-S, productions.com. They got their full, uh, first full feature coming out soon. They're still in editing. They could use some money, go to Kickstarter. The movie's called The Dog Walker. It's a thriller. It's fucking awesome. Check it out. It's very nice to share your plug like that. I'm going to cut it out. <laughs> we don't have time for that shit. No, we're good. That's uh, very nice of you. And uh, that's where you can see all these guys. Please support everybody on this stage because they're about to support you by coming out into the audience and picking a name tag. Lady and gentlemen, choose your name tags. And while they do that, oh, we'll no. do this. We'll be right back. Today's episode is brought to you in part by Stitcher Premium. The holidays are upon us. Why not give yourself the gift of Stitcher Premium? They have an incredible Black Friday deal going on that you will not want to miss. Get 50% off your first payment for a limited time when you go to stitcher.com slash premium and use the promo code DLM50. That's $17.50 for an entire year of Stitcher Premium. Spend cozy winter nights binging on all 10 seasons of the Doug Loves Movies archives and all the bonus episodes of the Benson Interruption. Completely ad-free. Plus, with Stitcher Premium, get access to new original shows, exclusive bonus episodes of your favorite podcast, and hundreds of stand-up comedy albums. Just go to stitcherpremium.com slash premium. Use the promo code DLM50. That's DLM50 for 50% off your first payment. Today's episode is also brought to you by Happy. It's lonely being a degenerate a-hole unless you have an imaginary flying blue horse to talk to. Then it's just weird. This December, Horses Fly and Sci-Fi's twisted new series, Happy. Christopher Maloney stars as a corrupt ex-cop turned hitman who is adrift in a world of casual murder, soulless sex, and betrayal. After a hit gone wrong, his inebriated life is forever changed by a tiny, relentlessly positive, imaginary blue-winged horse named Happy, voiced by Patton Oswalt. Nick reluctantly partners up with Happy to find a little girl who was kidnapped by a deranged Santa. It's like a cop show on acid with a twisted redemption story with the ultimate odd couple. The show has one WTF moment after the next. Oh, and it's based on the extremely graphic novel by Grant Morrison and Derek Robertson. Happy premieres December 6 at 10, 9 central on Sci-Fi. Back to the show. All right, we're back. Great job, everyone. Seriously, these name tags look incredible. Let's go through and find out about them, starting with Ian. Who are you playing for? Where's the microphone for Ian? Oh, there comes some donuts. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Is there a mic that we could pass to Ian? Got Who are you it. playing for? I am playing for Jungle All the Way. Uh, I assume her name is Jan. 
She's got her face as Schwarzenegger, uh, Doug's face as a young Jake Lloyd, if I'm uh, not mistaken. <laughs> And then uh, Turbo yeah, Man's and she's in eliminated too. Sinbad from the poster altogether. <laughs> yeah, Sinbad didn't make the cut. Where's Jen at? Did you get picked last night? I got a memory like a. It's not that great of a memory, but <laughs> I remember the, that you got picked last night. But you didn't win anything. No. Okay. What was your shithead last night? Do you have a new one tonight? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, Desmond, who are you playing for? Yo, what's up, uh, Corlin? <laughs> Yeah. So what's her name? Coral? <laughs> what? Coraline. Your whole name is Coral Lynn? Nice. We're playing for a whole name. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard that name before spelled that way, but... Uh, she got a button for the O. It's, you know, the movie was... Okay, did you like that movie, Caroline? Oh, no, they were just all the way, the furthest in the back, so I just jumped off the stage. Oh, you went all the I way to the to back. I didn't get to go to the gym today. I figured I'd do some steps. I'll jump. All right. All right, that was bad. I like it. Josh? Doug, I don't want to interrupt, but I need some water. I'm going to die. <laughs> oh, yeah, anytime you want anything to drink, just ask for it. Yeah, and I need a vodka soda or I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they'll bring it or not, but maybe. Well, I'll just die, I guess. I don't know. Greg, do you want something? Yeah, yeah I'll take it. I'll take a vodka soda as well. Thank you. Or you're gonna what? <laughs> or I'm gonna die. <laughs> what do you got, Josh? I'm playing for Like Mike, which just looks like someone ordered a coffee and was like, please call my name as Like Mike. And then they put the label from the coffee on a small bag of weed. And I'm not even fun enough to know if I can legally hold this. <laughs> How did you even see that one? It's so little. They yelled, they yelled my name, and uh, I'm very suggestible. Well, well, Josh can be bought, it turns out. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can hold it, but I can. <laughs> Sam? Sam? I am playing for Deep Blue Sean, who, who fulfilled my prerequisite of having a VCR. Uh, he also gave me this hat, which I'm going to give to Tom right oh, now. I was honestly about to ask for the hat. <laughs> I, I, know. I swear to God, I was about to ask for this hat. There could, that, this the tape holding that fin on the top of that hat could not be more subtle. <laughs> it's really blended in nicely with the whole look of the hat. Honestly, you guys, I'm struggling a lot right now in life. No, I could use these things. You're wearing like a cardboard shark costume, drinking out of a Pikachu mug, <laughs> like a divorced dad on his first weekend with the kids. <laughs> and probably his last. It feels weird <laughs> using this easy bake oven, but it does come in handy. <laughs> Greg, who are you playing for? Playing for Joe? Or, uh... Oh, the guy who made the big Greg Wyshynski yeah. head? Yes. <laughs> this would be Joe, Chicago Blackhawks fan in the front row. Thank you, sir. You know, there are certain milestones we all arrive at in life, and mine is someone made a giant poster of what I, appears to be me after getting kicked in the balls. <laughs> I'm not quite sure where this is from, but, but this is uh, clearly a milestone I've passed. Thank you, sir, for making a giant poster of my fat head. <laughs> You made a fat head of your fat head. <laughs> Sam? Uh, well, he suspiciously left his name off it, but I, I did find out it's Andrew, and Andrew has made a wonderfully photoshopped uh, poster of X-Men <laughs> Origins Lil Wolverine, and it's got you and me and Greg and Seth and Aya Cash, and she's that's not here. That's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, that's but, really But uh, this really is a beautifully well made poster, and I'm going to keep it. Yep. Oh, and he also brought donuts. Is that... Okay, I don't get a drink? Okay, that's cool. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Oh, we got donuts. George? Yeah, I got from Rob 
uh, his face photoshopped on the little girl from Les Mis. Uh, and it says, Les Miserables. <laughs> it's very good. Yeah, that's a classic. The facial hair is really bothering me, though. Rob also looks like he'd be singing on my own. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, Luis J. Gomez with the theater reference. Thank you, sir. Did not see that coming. And donuts. And donuts. <laughs> what? Candy, candy brought donuts. Oh, okay. Candy brought donuts. Julia. Um, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It's like if the human centipede was a Nancy Myers film. It's a beautifully knit human centipede of babies. It's, it's fall, it's fashion, it's Meryl Streep, it's scarf, it's yes. I'm gonna, I'm like, have a comfort blanket here. But it's the human Katie Pede. And she, this note says she spent four months on this, it says spending four months on a name tag and not getting picked. True story. So here we are. That thing just made me Republican. I don't know what it is about it. That thing just made me come. <laughs> I love how you, you're holding it like, like they're real babies. It, it's it's you're comforting really taking to me care on of this the stage right now. I'm gonna take human care of it. Human baby. I, you know, I just realized, I, so I, I met Josh, I think when I came to see, I, had a, I wrote Human Centipede the musical and this all is coming full circle for me. It's very emotional. <laughs> this is where I met Josh. This is where we've met. I'm a big fan of Human Centipede. I just want you guys to know that. <laughs> and you have that beautiful totem that would look right at home in Martha Stewart's annual haunted house. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's really lovely. You could say this is Human Centipede full sequence for you. <laughs> you really could. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Full title. I liked when you said Santa Baby. It's like Santa Baby. <laughs> <laughs> so my lips to another baby's ass, Santa Baby. <laughs> Santa I don't know baby how everybody complains outside. of a baby it's cold outside and just gives that one a pass yeah, year yeah, after yeah. year. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tom, who are you playing for? I am playing for Hogus Pogus. So I'm assuming this man's name is Pogus. <laughs> <laughs> is this Gus? Are you Gus? All right. Well, your name sucks. And no, I'm just kidding. No, this is good. I'm a fan of the film, so I. Uh, With that hat, you look like a mentally handicapped fan of that film. <laughs> I was about to do an impression. I realized this isn't the place or time. <laughs> Or any, I don't think anywhere is. Somehow you think, take me to a world where it's okay. <laughs> I think you meant this isn't the decade. <laughs> so, let's go, Gus. <laughs> Lewis? Uh, I am playing uh, for Lauren's Shop of Horrors. That's a nice one. Very creative. That one's sick. She got the, 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 the crafts, and, and she made her own little thingamajigger and, you know, all that stuff. You can't say thingamajigger in this day and age. You have to think, say thing, thingamajigger. I'm sorry. Um. Here's the truth. No black people listen to this podcast. Or are featured on it. I'm JFK, just fucking kidding. Yeah, Jesus Christ, nice job with diversity, Doug. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Nothing, and that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Seth? Um, I loved this bit because oh it was my God, you got the, the most elaborate, face. yet the most ghetto. I can say that because there's no black people listening. Um... So it's just a pizza pillow. Oh, you're gonna put it on? That's gross. And it says Mystic Brian, which doesn't even, he didn't even make an attempt to make it say pizza something. 
Dude, Mystic Brian. Just pretend your name is Pete if you're so married to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, that's my favorite one. That one's so sick. It's so stupid. <laughs> and he just, he didn't even sew it. He just safety pinned paper onto that's, the pillow. You know, though, that that's a guy who was like sweating like three hours ago. Oh, yeah. He <laughs> went, to, went to Target and bought this and just put the like, paper on it. He's like yelling at his girlfriend, you think Mystic Brian works? <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you because he jerked off into it before he gave it to you. <laughs> that's the mystery. <laughs> that's, the, yeah. that's what makes that's it mystic. That's the mystique. Yeah, I, I, I know what you ate. It was pineapple! <laughs> it's oh, that's Is fucking, it? dude, that's such a disgusting joke. Hawaiian uh. pizza, ugh. <laughs> Was it? <laughs> this is a Seth family was, program. <laughs> Seth, was it really Miss Sticky in there? <laughs> oh my lord! And I want to give a shout out to this. Is the first time I've been on You're a poster. You're gonna take ever. a shout out. I'm gonna save a shout out to people who put me on a poster for the first time ever tonight. So my man had one right there. I didn't, right? You didn't take it? Wait, and they... I didn't take it. Well, I already, I already nabbed the pillow. That's what they get the for pillow. their trouble? You don't pick the I already intent? nabbed the pillow. Also, it's your first time thought, on a poster ever? It's 2017. I know. You don't have a friend who can do Photoshop? Nope. <laughs> Just my mom. Do your mom wants the poster with my name on it? Yeah, give it to her. <laughs> She'll put it on the fridge. Yeah, give it to his mom. <laughs> yeah. Give it to his mom. <laughs> oh my God, he's really giving it to her. He gave Stop it to her. Stop giving it to his mom. Audio listeners, Don't he's give giving it to her so mom hard. He's giving it to her hard. Get off of her. Stop giving her your mystic pizza. Ah, she looks happy. <laughs> oh man. Rich, you got one of the coolest ones. I thought so. Yeah, Big Trouble in Little Richard. <laughs> Big Trouble in Little Richard. There it is. It's Doug's face and Little Richard. Well, now I picked it because it was right here, right in front of me. Very easy. Yeah. But no, but it looks great. I, I, looks I want great. that movie to exist so badly. Like, the, my life's work is now, like, making that poster real. <laughs> well, good luck to you, Josh. I hope, I hope that happens. <laughs> And good luck to everyone <laughs> whose name tags were chosen. Only one of you will win all of this stuff tonight. And I'd like to start off with a game that's going to determine who goes first in the next game. <laughs> and this game is called Live, Die, Repeat. <laughs> I'm going to say the title of a motion picture. The first person who repeats it back wins. <laughs> it's only between people who are on stage. I don't see some of you look excited in the audience. You have to say the full correct title. And you, of course, since you, some of you don't have microphones, nine of you. Uh, just yell out. Any pre-guesses? Rent, World Trade Center. <laughs> Rent and World Trade Center are both wrong. Precious, based on the novel Push My Trying Shot to higher. do a fun holiday show and you're bringing up 9-11 and AIDS. Thanks. <laughs> D D Doug, is it Precious, based on the novel Push by Sapphire? No, but that's a great guess. Still AIDS, though, says Tom. <laughs> Still 9-11, in my opinion. <laughs> That's very precious <laughs> of you. <laughs> all right, here we go. Got to make sure I can see all of you. <clears throat> Santa. Claws the movie. Claws. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus. Claus. <laughs> Conquers. The Martians. Santa Claus conquers the Martians. 
What did you say, Greg? I said Santa Claus conquers the Martians. That's correct. <laughs> or, or as it was known in its brief uh, release in New Jersey, Santa Claus is the Martians. I'm from New Jersey, sorry. Yeah, Shout out really to Jersey in the sure. house. I wasn't sure if you said Santa Claus conquers the Martians or Santa Claus conquers the Martians. So I just Lewis wanted to just be, started beating that, the shit out of you. That was that, that title of that movie is actually based on a transcription of Bruce Springsteen's Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> like, what's he saying? Santa Claus is coming to the Martians. <laughs> was that the same as your joke, or did I just repeat it? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I thought anyone else would ever think of something that stupid. <laughs> I apologize. I should have called Bruce. This is night off from his Broadway show. Could have maybe got him down here. You know, a young Pia Zadora is in Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. Thanks, Sam. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> yes. No one gives. Yes, us, we all. No do. one even knows who Pia Zadora is. A couple people. <laughs> were. I think they were sneezing. I think yeah. I think they're just allergic to your trivia. Mystic Pia Zadora, though, would have been a better name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if she was only here to play this game with us, God rest her soul. She's alive. She's just not anybody anybody knows anymore. Doug, she was the 13th chair, wasn't she? <laughs> yeah, I might as well say it. It was going to be Pia Zadora. <laughs> Check your Twitter on the way home and add your own R.I.P. <laughs> Who, I mean, that's, it's not, it wasn't Piazzadora, but whoever it is, I hope that it'll be incredibly sad if they're not alive anymore. But I will accept that as an excuse for not showing up. I won't be mad. All right. Uh, it's time to play, and we have somebody that gets to go first, and that is Greg Wyshynski. Yeah. 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 Last Man Stanton! <laughs> Just like last night, we're going to narrow it down to three of you before playing the final game with those three people. But uh, we're going to start with Greg, and then we're going to go to Sam... Josh, Desmond, go around uh -oh, that way. This way okay. Yeah, we're gonna go all the way around. Wait, what do you, Tom? Am I taking directions from a shark? He's letting the fin go to his head. <laughs> but you're right, that is clockwise, isn't it? Which <laughs> Which Sam? Great question. The one with the correct number of M's. <laughs> no, I've always said two is the correct amount of M's. God damn right, Doug. <laughs> no, but you're, you're, you guys think we should go to Sam M M. Sam M M. Sam doesn't. Yeah, see, Sam wants to go the other way too. <laughs> So here Cocky. we go. All right. I get to decide stuff. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to go Greg, then, then Sam with one M, Josh with one S, Desmond with one M and one N, Ian also has an N. The f person... The name we're going to use tonight. <laughs> Someone sounded like they had a ham sandwich go down the wrong pipe. Is that possible? That person actually might need water or they will die. <laughs> Hold on. Is there a doctor with a vodka soda? <laughs> The films of Meryl Streep. Yeah. 
Lewis is going to destroy this. Selected specifically for Lewis. But we start with you, Greg. Uh, a favorite of myself and uh, my lovely wife. Uh, the Devil Wears Prada. I am not familiar with that one, but it sounds like it's real. <laughs> Sam? Julie and Julia. Yeah, right? I bet you Julia's pissed you took that one. <laughs> <laughs> Josh? Ricky and the Flash. <laughs> That's the weirdest reaction. Oh. Edgy. Yeah. I did the idea we you struck with sadness because uh, Jonathan Demme died? Mm. That wasn't why? You just thought it was a shitty movie? Yeah. Okay. You know Jonathan Demme died. <laughs> Desmond. I'm just going to get this out there. I know it's on everyone's minds. It's Doug's personal favorite, Mamma Mia. Like, they're not even Italian in that movie. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Ian, uh, I only have one. This is going to be tough. Oh, well, uh, you're going to have a lot of time to think as it goes around. Florence Foster Jenkins. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only one you know? Yeah, that is, a very, one, that is yeah. a very weirdly limited... I mean, that's one that you shouldn't know if you don't know Meryl Streep movies, and yet here we are. Uh, let me see. When did I... you learn of Meryl Streep? <laughs> <laughs> it's brand new news to him. All right. I can't find it on here, but I know it's one of them. Oh, there it is. All right. Uh, Rich? Uh, Death Becomes Her. Yes. Rich, you're fucking dead after the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so intense. <laughs> Seth? There's so many to choose from. Right? It's like my own Sophie's Choice. Oh, you fucker! <laughs> there are only two choices in Sophie's Choice. <laughs> no, no, there's a third choice. She could kill all both of them. <laughs> Oh my God, Tom laughs so hard at his own joke. Because I'm very smart. I'm... <laughs> Lewis. She Devil. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She Devil. It's a good one. I mean, it's not a good movie, but it's a good, good answer. You're right, Doug. It's a great movie. Lewis is a real Ed Begley Jr. fan. Ed Head. <laughs> Answer it, Shark Head. Meet the Fockers. What? Is that wrong? Yeah. Can I do a different one? Meryl Streep? Oh, fuck. I'm so Can I do no, a different one? No, no, no. You can't because you're ah, right. finished. Oh. Damn. Roast culture has gone too far. <laughs> All right, I'm out. Did you think we were playing Barbara Streisand? I must have. I must have. I feel like this is anti-Semitic. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it's because it's because Lewis always calls Jewish people shark heads. <laughs> I do Coming not do that if there's players. any industry in the crowd. <laughs> well, I wouldn't. People who own the building, I did not say that. <laughs> I would. <laughs> he calls them tuna Christians. I don't really understand it, but. <laughs> well, thank you, Tom. Thank you guys for having me. Tom to car, everybody. Me. Hand me your name tag and go. Thanks, dude. Don't forget the mug.
He says, leave it. <laughs> um, All do right, we, do we uh, keep going? Julia, yeah, it's your turn. Um, in honor of this knit thing that Meryl Streep would have in this movie, I'm going to say it's complicated. <laughs> I feel like it's that vibe. Correct. George. Uh, into the woods. Woo! Into the woods. <laughs> yeah, anyone can sing that one. Sam. You know, it worked so well for me last night. August Osage County. Yes. <laughs> I will. Oh, sorry, shit, sorry. Not until called, called upon, Doug. Please, please don't discipline. What happened? Uh, I, I was about to speak before being spoken to. Oh, okay. The golden rule was about to be violated. Yeah. Greg? <laughs> <laughs> Out of Africa, Doug. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sam? The Iron Lady. The Iron Lady. Oh, man. I'm so glad you said that, because I was like, is it the man in the iron mask? <laughs> but it's not. Um, uh, defending your life. Yes. Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Kelly Goldman! The proper response to anyone mentioning an Albert Brooks movie. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know so many other movies! <laughs> the weirdest thing anyone's ever said to me at that volume. <laughs> You're so smart! I got nowhere else to go! Desmond? Uh, adaptation? Mm-hmm. Ian, it went, uh, you, you thought Florence Foster Jenkins was the only thing you had, but you've Dude, heard a um, lot of other titles. Maybe it triggered something. I'm picturing her dressed as a nun in a movie called Proof. Oh, so close, dude. Thank you, Ian Kinney. Thanks, dude. Got to do seven hours back now. <laughs> Don't you ask me what it is. It's still in play. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Someone else can say it. Rich? I don't know that one. Uh, the Bridges of Mad Madison County? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sayeth? So many to choose from. So little time. Um, I'm going to go with a little thing called Prime. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It's legit. Um, I'm in it. That's how I know it exists. <laughs> Uma Thurman, Meryl Streep, Brian Greenberg. Seth, Seth Herzog, Herzog, motherfuckers. Johnny Abrahams. John Abrahams is in it too. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Oh, uh oh, Lewis. Lewis There's, seems like he might might not want to take the microphone. Lewis, they might have made a sequel oh, he's to got defending one. your life. <laughs> Shh! Everyone, keep on yelling out answers. <laughs> Louder and more clearly, please. <laughs> Don't listen to Stop Doug. It, you he guys. has no power here. Stop it. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Shh! Scared, Skadoodoo? I think she's right. yelling something about being a skank. All right. Thank you for being a whore. Um, for being here? Is that what you meant to say? That's what I, I, I messed up. Um, all right. Fuck. Uh, oh, that'd be awesome if Meryl Streep was in a movie called <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Part three. Come on, you know she's in that one where she's all like, hey, and everybody's like, what's up? 
Uh, is she in? Is she in? There's so many. Just shut up. I don't know. Fuck. I'm going to guess any movie. I don't know why I keep on thinking Driving Miss Daisy. That's not even that close to the right person. God, I'm racist. That is a black man. Actually, that shows how not racist you are. You should hear what I'm calling him in my head. I take it back. Meryl Streep, you <laughs> dirty. <laughs> I literally don't fucking know. Oh, uh, Louis J. Gomez, Louis J. thank Gomez. you. Enjoy whatever backstage has to offer. Um, doubt. Yes. Was the one. That's what, I think that's what Ian was thinking of. I got the, so the nervous. The nun thing. It was like so introduced, I knew someone was going to do it. I got so nervous that I got real quiet. When you play in games, you just like pray that the thing you want to say doesn't get said before you say it. It worked. George, it worked. I was just looking at this, making sure I had, knew the feeding instructions. <laughs> Suddenly, Seymour! All right. George? I got nothing. What? Yeah. You gotta be all fucking my, kidding me. All of mine me. were said. I'm, I can't think of anything. Wow. Shh. I'm sorry, Rob. All right. I thought, thing, you know. I mean... <laughs> I mean, no, there's nothing that I'm, like, kind of sure that she was in, like... <laughs> yeah, take a stab. Pick, a, like, a movie that has, like, a really big cast, like JFK. Uh... JFK. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, George Salazar! Bye, <laughs> yeah, give me that name tag, sir. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it. Oh. Rob's got one of these fancy envelopes on the back. Good work, Rob. All right, Sam, we're back to you. She was so good, they gave her an Oscar. Kramer versus Kramer. Pretty sure she just got nominated for that one, but... <laughs> she won? Yep. Mm, okay. <laughs> Greg, the River Wild. Mm. Doug. Now that one she won an Oscar that for. She, she won all the Oscars. She cinematographed it. She was the best boy. I don't know how. <laughs> Sam, with one M. So this has already done some film festivals, so I'm going to say The Post. Oh. All right. I should have said ahead of time that movies that aren't out yet don't count. Oh. But I'll say it now. Because <laughs> you got another one. Sure. <laughs> And I'm going to say that she was in Mother's Day by Gary Marshall. What? <laughs> Just a lot, there's a lot of people in that movie. Yeah. There's a lot of people in that movie, and she's... There's not enough people in that movie, first of all. It's one of the smaller casts for one of those long-ass <laughs> holiday movies. But uh, I'm sorry, Sam Pasternak. Thank you. I really, I really believe, I loved your faith in Sam because he didn't believe in himself as much as you yeah, believed in him. Yeah, that was beautiful. Him. I mean, Sam was right in the end. It's a real but... holiday, <laughs> holiday miracle. Um, okay. I'm waiting. Yeah, sure. Yes. He's going to throw Sam a donut, Sam wants folks. to stop everything to throw a donut.
There's a gentleman in the audience suggested you throw all the donuts. Ooh, I like that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yes. That was good. Thanks, Sam. Beautiful. Hold up that Home Alone 2 Damn. thing again. <laughs> Where are we at? Desmond? Oh, Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Josh. No, that's okay. Um, I'm just going to continue Julia's observation of Nancy Myers and just guess one. Was she also in <laughs> The Intern? <laughs> she should have been. Thank you, Julia. <laughs> of course, she totally Josh. should have shown up in The Intern, but she did not. Thank you, Josh Gondelman. <laughs> Josh just gave me a gift for leaving the stage, so he's my favorite of all the fallen warriors. But now we're back over to you, Desmond. Uh, Angels in America, part two. It is a movie. It came out into the movie theaters. No. It did not. HBO. You real? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah, it's HBO miniseries. It's not TV, it's though. It's an HBO movie? Like, it's literally their slogan. I mean, that's not, technically... It's not TV. I mean... <laughs> all right, now, I am on television, and I do understand marketing, and they do market it as an HBO film. Hey. So, technically... Desmond, I'll go, I'll go one better, Desmond. It, it's home box office. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it is just like Kill Bill. If you think about it, are like, you really? are you going to all this trouble to sell this idea that a TV miniseries is a motion picture because you don't have another Meryl Streep title? Oh no, I do have another one. But okay, let's do that. Uh, rendition. All right. It's true. <laughs> rendition. I was, I was keeping that shit to the end, yo. That was like my my queen of clubs. It was a shame you couldn't save that one till the end. But I think he'll come up with more. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe if I hold on to this little thing right here, it's I'll good get luck. Some energy, I think you should. Know? It's comfortable. It's inappropriate to. <laughs> Am I in between the stop, face or the stop ass? Stop molesting right now? those babies. Or I that are sewn together. <laughs> Rich. Yeah, I got nothing. For reals? Yeah, uh, that's all I got. I had a couple God, you back here. There, you were sitting there looking so confident. I know. Thank you very much. It's Thank awesome. you, Rich D. Marini, Meninis. D. Meninis. Thank you. There, yeah, do you want to throw, throw a donut, donut. At Rich? Right here. Ooh, that was good. Powerful. <laughs> Powerful throw. We got, we got more. Oh, Rich. Seth. I'm going to go deep. I'm going to go stuck on you. Stuck wow. on you. Whoa. Meryl Streep makes an as uncredited herself. appearance as, as herself. herself. As herself. Yeah. Good job there, Seth. Oh, you guys. I feel the the place I've been at is that maybe she voiced a character of some kind because I feel like she did that like an animated movie. Oh, she might have, but I think you got this, Julia. I don't know. <laughs> no, no. That's what I was gonna say. Mamma Mia Two no. hasn't come out yet. It's played a few festivals. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything. I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna say an animated movie. I think she voiced. Oh, okay. Maybe she was the voice <laughs> of a cat in Aristocats. <laughs> <laughs> the, the titular role of cat in Aristocats. <laughs> it's possible. Her, her I don't know why a guy just yelled out fancy cat. <laughs> Maybe he's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and some street cat won't do? I, I only eat the cat. fanciest of cats. 
Madison. Thank you, Julia Madison. Thank you. I'm gonna throw it. Is there a shithead on the back of those little shit eaters? Oh, she said it earlier, didn't she? Here we go. Julia's gonna throw a donut. Whoa, that was, that was like ladies softball. You almost hit Seth's mom. She tried to hit my mom. She tried to. Bye. Someone just yelled, come on, Sam. There's only one Sam left, so we know who he's talking about. Yes. I just want to never see this thing again. <laughs> it's amazing. I'll never look at ATM ass to mouth the same way again. How were you looking at it before? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they finally found a way to make two out of three babies. Shut up. <laughs> oh, this thing's not going to come off. The fuck? Oh, boy. Whose is this? Yours? Get this out of my life. <laughs> I had trouble with the cord. <laughs> it's a very difficult birth. <laughs> they just came out of her that way. It's a medical miracle. Sam with two M's. Well, I didn't want to have this discussion with you before, but I'm glad it made its way all the way around to me again. She did win for Kramer vs. Kramer, but she was nominated for and did not win for The Deer Hunter. <laughs> Fuck you, Sam! Sorry. I mean, you know, she was nominated and did not win like 19 times. That was her first, was <laughs> yeah. the Deer Hunter. Okay, we're going to count them all down, aren't we? All right. All right. <laughs> She's got a lot of nominations and a few wins. Hmm. Greg? All right. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna, oh God! All right, so I, you, you I, I, just, it looks like you were just fingered by the ghost of Meryl Streep. <laughs> it was more of a Dan Aykroyd and Ghostbusters situation, <laughs> Doug. Um, yeah, no, I, stuck on you was one in my back pocket. A deer hunter was another. So now I'm in the territory of hoping to get the title right or hoping that she's in the flick, and I'm, I, I've got some choices, oh. but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, I, I, I'm hoping this is the actual title of, of the film. Is it Out of the Darkness? Oh, no. Ah, shit. What is oh, it? Oh, no, I'm not going to say. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Sorry, dude. All right. Greg Wyshynski. Good job, Greg. Oh. Yeah. Throw a donut. Oh, he wants the pink. Here it comes. Uh, you want pink or chocolate? Oh, that was right. That one, people lost that one in the lights. <laughs> thank you, Greg Wyshynski. Wow. Oh, thank you. Here, uh, Seth and uh, Desmond, can you like switch seats so we can still keep the same order? Oh, word. All right. Yeah, right. Let's see. Do you want to? I, I thought we were going to change up the game now that we're the final we three. We will at the end here, but let's. Uh, you I, I just want mic? you in the order that you were. I'm going to keep this in. mic. All right, cool. I'm going to keep this one then. I really like this mic. Because <laughs> it was Desmond's turn next, so he'll start us off in this next game. Oh, and fuck. now that we're down to just three... Are we not doing the Meryl Streep game anymore? We're out of the Meryl Seth, Streep game. I'm talking. <laughs> about how we're not doing the Seth... I mean, the Meryl Streep game anymore. <laughs> Can I ask about a title that was wait, bugging wait, me? Wait, hang on a second. <laughs> All right, you might as well ask now, I guess. What was the movie where her and De Niro have like an adult relationship and I think their special it's needs? Super boring ass movie. Yeah. What is it? Falling in Love. Falling in Love. Yeah. yeah, very basic title. But yeah, I was going to say, hang on, lady or weird dude. I, this, is, um, this is the part where I say to the audience, what did we miss? 
A Cry in the Dark, Lions for Lambs. Silkwood, the postcards giver. from the edge. The giver. I knew I shouldn't have told you before you got here tonight who the name was going to be, <laughs> Sam. Just shows up with a fucking list. See, I, I didn't know you Did could you write them suffragette? down. I would have brought Did a pen and paper. Suffragette? No, I, I'm, I'm like part Puerto Rican, so I don't uh, pronounce things very well sometimes, but isn't it S-U-F-F-R-A-G? Suffragette. That's what it is. Yeah, no, I said Silkwood. Silkwood's uh, another giant one. Silkwood yeah. Jet. Silkwood Jet. And fucking Manhattan. Manhattan. Manhattan, yeah. Oh, Manhattan. I was trying to get Julia. Why are you, got, why are you guys yelling at us? We're I was still up here. I huh? was trying to get Julia to say Julia, because that's the name of a movie she's in. Uh, Ironweed. Do we do Ironweed? Heartburn, right? House of Spirits, French Lieutenant's Woman. I was really hoping night. someone would yeah, say She's not in the pocus. hours. No, she's in the hours. She is? Yeah. Her scenes are with Ed Harris. It's very sad. How come I didn't write that one down? Hope Springs, Lions for Lambs, Heartburn, The Giver. She's been in a lot of movies. What? She is not in Congo. You sit down. Sit mom, down and sit use down, mom. sit down and use your sign language like you were taught. Holy shit. The hours, There's a lot just, of donuts left. I can only think of uh, Nicole Kidman and that fake nose in the hours. She's got a weird nose. Is that where she tied the, the Manchurian candidate and just walked mm. into the water? Manchurian candidate. Uh-oh, there goes a donut. Throw nut. Oh, sorry. Okay, so that's what we're doing now. We're just going to throw them all? Yeah, I wanna, we got to get rid of them. Does anyone want a chocolate cream fill one? Oh, shit. All right. Fuck See me. if you can reach the balcony. Oh, still eat that. That's good. That's, yeah. Yes. yes. That's my That's guy the best right one. That's the best one. Look at him go. Total five second rule. You got. It only be rolled on the edge. Beautiful flaky dough with a nice smooth frosting on top. Some custard in the middle. I should have pushed my Dunkin' Donuts voice You guys over. are really a really relaxed final three. Don't you want to play this game? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I think he said Seth. He definitely did. He did not say Dez or Mitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Seth pumped. and Sam both made it to the uh, final three last night, so this is a nice uh, rematch. And to uh, determine our winner tonight, we're going to play just like last night but with a different set of names. Ooh. Ron Bennington's adjusted for Inflation Bureau game. <laughs> you know this one, Desmond? Why don't you just, you know. Yeah, I'll talk you through it. <laughs> you get to go first in this first round. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I got that. Yeah. <laughs> then we go to Sam, then we go to Seth. Ooh. I'm gonna name an actor or actress. And Desmond, you have to guess the movie you think is in that actor's top three box office performers of all time, uh, according all right. to Box Office Mojo, after adjusting for inflation. All right, I feel you on this. I feel you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you'll be good at this. Mm. <laughs> Kumail kicked my ass at this last time. Oh, so you have done this one before. Well, yeah, well, after you said the rules, I, I recalled it. Okay. The problem with this game is going third fucks you. Yeah, but you don't go third That's every time. That's why each person gets to go third once. Okay. Mm-hmm. The problem with Seth Herzog <laughs> is he blurts things out without thinking them through. <laughs> there need to be more donuts. Oh, there are. <laughs> I got a couple up here if you need one. All right, Desmond. Yeah. The films of Amanda Seyfried. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> like she if looks I told just you, like... If I told you a movie she was in, you would know who she is, but then that would ruin everything. <laughs> so you are on your own, my friend. 
you can't think of who she is, guess a movie that might have a lady in it. Because <laughs> I, I can confirm that she is a lady. And then, of course, Sam will go next. Well, we're talking about box office hits, right? So I'm just going through box office hits in my head. Maybe she'll just she'll turn up in one of them. Yeah, name a movie that made a bunch of money. Maybe she's in it. We've mentioned. She mostly. She we've mostly mentioned a. Uh, she we mentioned a few of her movies uh, during the last game. She was we in did. a lot of movies in the '30s. <laughs> I was thinking Little Foxes. Um, Do you have a guess? Uh, that's a no. Kong. <laughs> that shit made a lot. Kong. Money. Yeah, the one that Jordan Just did. Just Kong? Yeah, it's called Sk Sk Skull Island. Yeah. Skull Island. Okay, that's your guess. All right, yeah. Sam? Mamma Mia! <laughs> oh, so she's in Meryl Street movies. I get it now. Seth? And that's the one I, I would have said, said Mamma Mia, but I'm going to go Mean Girls. All right. <laughs> All right, so coming in at number three, and worth one point, Skull, Skull, Skull Island. Island, to Seth Herzog is a movie called Mean Girls. And then coming in at number two, a motion picture called Les Miserables. Mm. <laughs> Les Miserables. I missed that one. Yeah, and then her number one movie, Mamma Mia! <laughs> Uh, so Can I just tell you before you beat me points how much I love Freaks and Geeks? Oh, my God. Thank you so yeah. much. For real. Make can out. I, can Make I tell out. you how much I love Hamilton? Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm fucking this close to a peacock. Can you believe it? The youngest Puerto Rican ever that actually has awards with those letters in his name. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sam. Lights up on Washington Heights up at the break of day. Yeah. Do the uh, whole show. I am Usnavi, and you probably never heard my name. Reports on my fame are greatly exaggerated, exacerbated by the fact that my syntax is highly complicated because I immigrated from the single greatest little place in the Caribbean, Dominican Republic. I love it. Jesus, I'm jealous of it. And beyond that, ever since my folks passed on, I haven't gone back. God damn, I got to get on that. Seth Herzog was amazing doing that rap. What just, wait, why are we shaking hands? That was great. Uh, let's agree to that. Let's all agree that that just happened. Um, okay, so. I'm sorry, Lynn. I apologize. Sam gets to go first in this next round. And uh, Sam. Yes, sir. What do you think is in the top three for an actress who goes by the name Meryl Streep. <laughs> this is actually a tougher question than you would think it is. Right? Yeah, it really is. Uh, no, none of those were that big. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll roll the dice and say Mamma Mia. <laughs> okay, Seth. <laughs> That's a great guess. I, you know, you never know what's the biggest box office. I'm going to say Devil Wears Prada. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Guys, mm -hmm. this is very close. Mm -hmm. This is very close. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we certainly you know, named I'm, a I'm lot of thinking, her movies I'm earlier. I'm Kong Skull Island, but I'm going to... Uh, you know, if it's for inflation... I, uh, I'm just gonna throw Kramer versus Kramer in there because did that make a lot of money back in the day and that would translate to a whole bunch of dope ass money now? I mean, it won Best Picture. Yeah, I mean. That's, I mean, did people really. No, see it didn't it? make a Like, money. I heard it made just as much money as Rocky, but that's between you and me and everyone right. listening on the podcast. Yeah. Coming in at number three The Deer Hunter. Wow. Why? <laughs> it was a big movie. One best picture. <laughs> Coming in at number two. 
out of Africa. There you go. Uh-oh. It's getting bleak here, guys. It's very disappointing to everyone involved. But coming in at number one. Kramer versus Kramer! Wow. It's like game five against the Trailblazers when Michael Jordan just started hitting three-pointers and he never fucking did three with the shrug, you know? I don't fucking know. It's magnificent. Mamma Mia, number four. What are you gonna do, guys? Double wears Prada? <laughs> Nowhere, yeah, I don't know where. I don't know where the hell that ended up. I didn't 70s, write that 70s, 80s down. Streep. That was the Streep to beat. Yeah. All right. This is exciting. We might have to have a tiebreaker. Third round, Seth gets to go first. The films of Colin Firth. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> it's Colin Farrell's dad. Do they both wear beanies in the summer? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they both wear wool hats. I'm going to say love, actually. Okay. <laughs> Desmond? Oh, man. You know what? Just... Now, think of all those guys that are in Love Actually. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, do you know who it is? No, I know who it is. Oh, you do? Yeah. I'm just gonna say Mamma Mia, because it's probably in there with Meryl Streep. Like at this point, it's a game of deduction. It's just like the fucking SAT. Can't hustle a hustler, man. Look at this fucking cardigan I'm wearing. That's definitely a hustler's cardigan. Uh, not to ever... mention this dope-ass French stash I got going on. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do with that, Sam? Well, Doug, you know I, I love nothing more than losing because of math. <laughs> uh, I'm quite certain this did not make more money than Mamma Mia, but it definitely has to be one of his most... Uh, Successful films, Kingsman, The Secret Service. They do a lot of flips in that shit. Yeah, they did. Made a lot of money in that movie. Not as much as Mamma Mia, though. <laughs> Coming in at number three. A Christmas Carol from 2009. Knew it. Who did he play? The Carol. He played Carol. <laughs> Coming in at number two. Shakespeare in Love. That was a good movie. Who'd he play in that? But but didn't movie? it be Pulp Fiction? No, Jesus Christ, it beat Saving Private Ryan. It's biggest Oscar robbery in history. It wasn't that good of a movie. Yeah. All right, guys. I know that war is better than Shakespeare in some people's minds. <laughs> but can't we love both? <laughs> nope. <laughs> and coming in at number one, we've got a new champion because it's Mamma Mia! Thank you, Sam Levine and wow. Seth Herzog. 
Double cannon, please. It kind of sounds like just a big door is closing, but close enough. Thank you, Sam. You're welcome, sir. Uh, where's your, uh, is there a shithead on the back of the pizza face? Oh, throw some donuts, Doug. oh Sam's going to throw a couple more donuts. How do you know there's a shithead here? How do you know there's a shithead here? Where? <laughs> no, go ahead. Another cream-filled donut. Who wants a custard? There you go, there you go. There's a, here, here's half, half a plane. Hey, Carol! Coralyn, sorry. <laughs> Fucked it up. Coralyn, come get your prizes. Can you help her with those Des? Just like push them down to her and uh, she brought a friend to help her carry them. Nicely done. Thank you, Sam and Seth. Where's the pizza guy at? Is this really your shithead, what you wrote on this? All right. <laughs> I'll even throw giant pieces of pizza. Desmond Borges is our winner! Thanks for having me on, brother. Great job, dude. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say her name wrong again. Coral Lynn. You also get this hat. Here, pass this back to her, pizza, pizza man. What do you mean in the pipe? I put the pipe in the bag. I pretended to put it in my pocket with my mime skills. And I got a laugh, and then I put it in the prize bag. Uh, thank you to everyone for being here. For uh, uh, Some of you were here two nights in a row. <laughs> totally appreciate it. Thank you to the uh, Gramercy Theater for uh, letting us do this, and uh, hopefully keep going for many years to come with regular episodes of the show, uh, you know, back after it starts to warm up a little bit. And as always... Not winning the prize bag is a shithead. The Noid is a shithead. I got a bigger laugh than I expected it would, Pizza Man. Net neutrality is a shithead. Spending four months on a name tag and not getting picked, true story, is a shithead. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, the fact that, oh, this is an old shithead from 2016. The fact that every famous person I love is dead is a shithead. Shithead? Yeah, let's see if this one's a little bit more positive from 2017. The fact that every famous person I love is dead to me is a shithead. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> yeah, that is gnarly. Uh, ESPN and my Trump-loving family are a shithead. <laughs> Christmas tourists in Times Square are a shithead. <laughs> this one's super meta. Past me is a shithead. <laughs> yeah, wow is right. And we got a double, two different people with the same shithead. So I'm just gonna say it once. The MTA is a shithead. Once again, today's episode is brought to you in part by Happy. This December, Sci-Fi's new series Happy stars Christopher Maloney as an ex-cop turned hitman and Pat Oswalt as his new partner who happens to be an imaginary flying blue horse. Thing. Oh, and it's based on the extremely graphic novel by Grant Morrison and Derek Robertson. Happy premieres December 6th at 10, 9 central on Sci-Fi. Have the happiest of holiday seasons, everybody. Now it's time for Doug to watch another talkie. I 
size of gold his viewing prowess makes him cocky.